I was the kind of man that thought all men are dogs because I bite. I'm the kind of man that raised a task that no woman could quench. I was the kind of man who wanted every lady to want him, only for him to crush their hearts. And I grew ignorant of hurting them because it pleased me. Pleasured me to find value and worth in their crush on me. Those girls crushed must have reached heaven because I swear some lashed out on me. They tore my heart to pieces as I busily cried about how much they hurt me. I gave them my heart when my heart was not for them but one. One of the ladies in this universe but just not them. So allow me to confess my sins. That besides God, these girls were gods for me. And they had been God for the longest time in my life. And I was just so lazy to change a thing about it. Except one time. Back in high school. When the Lord set me free from them and pawn. But after high school I fell into a relapse. The story replaying itself in my life. The devil taking me in cycles of this one sin last. My craving for ladies being out of control. What do you expect? You expect me to think? Tell myself that all will be okay. Tell myself that I was only human and these were the repercussions, only mine were male signals. So my enemies, these queens to paradise of my lustful heart was scattered all over the globe. And I wanted them all to believe that I cared because parts of me did. My deceitful nature preceded me everywhere I went and I crushed hearts. I haven't been a victim of accidents, just that with my nature, such circumstances were unavoidable, unpredictable, inconceivable. I was blind to my plight and betrayal was my only cup of coffee, as this lady slapped my face mercilessly, tearing my mask apart so that the next lady I would lie to saw my truth. So yes, my youth has been a bumpy ride, and I didn't seem to stop bumping. Bump into her, and her, and her. I am a merciful fella, but this was the merciless part of me. And once more God showed up. Because I cried. I cried to God to help me, and he did. And there is no greater victory than this. God showing me who my enemy really is. And once more, I was on the road to freedom. Because you don't meet and dine with God to remain the same. You don't meet and dine with God to remain the same. You don't meet and dine with God to remain in self-pity and shame. God addressed the problem one more time through me. And there is no greater confidence I've had in a long time than to know God is with me. And his wand will destroy my enemy if I say the word. And yes, I say the word to the mountain. Move and cast thyself into the sea. I say the word to the enemy. Get behind me, Satan. And like my savior, I devote my enemy with my testimony. Began to confess differently about who I am. Who I was, I no longer want to be. Who I was are just but fragments of me I no longer want to see. But if they should ever come to memory, they come as testimonies. Jesus serves. Jesus sets the captives free. Jesus opens the eyes of the blind. And blinded by the God of this world, you can never really realize that those ebonies and blondies were your jail cells, and you are busy doing time for what God had already forgiven. Because my story and yours aren't really different. Both of us are just men in sins of the suit of Adam. And Jesus is willing to dress us up for heaven. Evangelical poet.